welcome back to Studio Lou. It is Cindy. So this week I am taking a little bit of a departure from Friday book haul because it is, I believe, Sunday right now. So I didn't do a Friday book haul because I don't have a whole lot of books necessarily, unless you count my haul from Book Outlet, which I might share with you because it's just so wonderful. Um, but anyways, I do have a thrift haul. So I will show you what I got. Most of what I got is sort of um, for specific projects that I want to do because I'm trying to keep my thrift a little um, under control, one would say. <laughs> so there's some exceptions always, though. First of which is, of course, this book, which I definitely did not need more books, but like it's just so beautiful. So um, it is, I believe, a German book, and I just love this book cloth. It's like this greeny yellow color with these beautiful pink flowers on the side, and I just, it's a nice size. It's really, really nice. And um, when you open it up, let me see. Um, is from try to find the publishing year here. Printed in Germany. It may not have the publication year, but I think it's like possibly a little old, but not super old. Um, although the fact that it doesn't have a publication year makes me think it's a little older. Um, I do not know. It is a mystery, but it's a lovely book and I'm going to definitely use it for um, mainly the cover. I'll probably just use the rest as a glue book. Then I found this lovely little um, paperback. I'm so happy. Like I, I rarely ever go through the paperbacks in thrift stores, but lately I've been leafing through them just because like I've had the time to do so. And I found a Mr. Rogers Neighborhood book and it's so cute and I'm really happy I found it. I don't know, maybe one day I will do some kind of a Mr. Rogers journal if that would be something that would interest people, but I'm probably going to put it in my library because I just love it so much. I love Mr. Rogers. There's a potential that I already have a copy of this though because I tend to pick up Mr. Rogers things when I find them. Um, this particular page just makes me so happy. Doesn't that just take you, like, transport you to childhood if you watched Mr. Rogers and that little blue castle and Lady Elaine and everybody would come up to the little castle and, yeah, so cute. And then I found this book um, that I think would make a really fun journal, to be honest. The Muppets Take Manhattan, which is a great movie. And I love it so much because of this picture. Like, if I make a journal out of this book, which may happen... This is the cover for sure. These two dressed. I love this so much. I can't even begin. And it's on paper over here too, which is great. And there's just so many great pictures in here. I have like, like started a few different like childhood kind of theme journals that are hanging around. I, I did a few um, early on in my journal making career and all of the kind of nostalgia ones are sold and gone. So hopefully there's still an appetite for that. And then I found some um, vintage wallpaper. Um, it was, um, I think it was 50 cents maybe. Um, I love the old byway sticker here. I'm totally going to keep that for nostalgia purposes because um, byway was like um, an old Canadian store. It's funny, if you're Canadian or you're from Ontario, there's a website called RetroOntario.com. And um, right now they actually have a secret, a secret shop where they're selling a byway shirt, like a sweatshirt that has the byway logo on it because it's like nostalgic for us kids in Canada or Ontario. So yeah, I thought that was really nice wallpaper. <clears throat> And then I'm so super excited that I found this um, CD file folders, this whole box of them. I never find CD like file folders ever. <clears throat> I always find like the, the stickers that go on CDs, but I never ever find these. And so this is the first time I've ever found them in the thrift store. So they've got this nice triangular kind of opening and a little tab here. So these are definitely going, going to go into some coffee dye that I have waiting upstairs from this morning's pot of coffee <clears throat> and then I found something I'm pretty excited about so it was 75 cents um and I think it's like a I don't know if it's older but I really love it regardless of its age the, Regi the Regina or Regina Darner's needle wrapper 
I absolutely love this package. And inside of it, of course, it has a little tissue bag um, of needles. So yeah, I'm so happy to have found this and it's definitely going to go into um, a sewing journal that I've been kind of working on, but not really. I just have supplies sort of set aside for it. So again, I never find like needle books or any of that stuff really when I'm thrifting, um, but this is the first time I've come close to it. And then I found this whole whack of stamps for five dollars um <clears throat> and i think most of them i will use so there's this one and it's just like a cute little like a, a mailbox um with a bird on top of it with some nice little flowers there super cute um yeah and i really loved this frame i thought it was nice um rubber stampede I don't have a whole lot of stamps and I found a little this book belongs to um, it's book plate number 742 number two from commotion rubber stamps yeah so I'm always looking for those little book plate stamps I don't really have any of them and then I found a little thank you heart I don't know how much I'll use that but maybe for like um, I could make some of them in advance for sending out you know with packages and then this one um, <clears throat> this is just a really pretty floral frame um, 1996 Marie Browning from Graphic Stamp, Imprints Graphic Studio, Inc., Concord, Ontario. So I guess we must have had a stamp manufacturer here at one point. And it was $16.99 originally at Michael's. So nice little finds there. Um, and then I found a couple of pillowcases that were 50% off. So I, I paid a dollar for both of them. Um because they were on this linen rack that was all 50% off and they're really nice. And I think that I'm probably going to use some amount of them in my journal of stitchery project. I really, I really like them. I think that that would be very nice. I was looking for some nice florals specifically for the project. So that's a good thing. <clears throat> and then back to sort of stamping and printing. I found this that looks like a metal typesetters set um, of two different sort of stamps. <clears throat> Excuse me. So one is like a little, what well, looks like a little squiggly thing that you would use in a corner. And the other is sort of like a bunch of tiny little leaves. So I don't know if I could maybe get them to print on just this post-it. Let's see how this works. I know sometimes certain stamps. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah. That's the little corner one. And. Oh, so cute. Yeah, that's the little leafy stamps. So those are so cute. Okay. Now this is like not going to seem all that exciting, but it really, really is. So I found um, <clears throat> this gigantic, I mean, it is enormous. It would fit like a huge long table. Um, it's a vinyl um, doily style tablecloth. And this makes me so excited because for doing um, my printed coffee or avocado dyed um, doily, this is going to allow me to do an entire spread on a table. So like a huge piece because right now all I have are like placemats, like small placemats. So I, ha I can only do sort of um, smaller batches, like one piece at a time, maybe two pieces um, to get the full imprint. So this is going to allow me to do like an entire... Um, you know group of papers like a dozen at a time or more so this was three dollars i'm super excited i never find even the placemats so this was like a really good find and then i found just three different bed sheets that i love that i plan to sew dresses out of <laughs> so this one is just so nice and vintagey and i love it it's like the orange yellow and pink just makes me so happy i'm going to sew like a kind of a retro style dress for myself with this 
And then this one is an amazing floral and it has this lace at the bottom. And I'm going to sew myself sort of like a bubble skirt type dress and have this along the bottom of the skirt. So I need to make some New Year sewing plans, like some time for myself to do that. And then this one, I'm going to make another dress out of. Absolutely love this fabric and the trim on it is just amazing. And I will definitely be taking the scraps and using them probably as a part of like a journal or um, I may even check the date on these fabrics and scan some of them if they're old. I think honestly, a couple of them are quite old. And then this one, because you know, when you get it, you find something, you just, <laughs> you find a bunch of it at once. So I love this one because it's little, I can't, I don't know if you can tell, but it's like cross-stitched flowers, um, but it's printed cloth. So that's really beautiful. And I think it would look really nice with, with an actual piece of like floral cross-stitch as some kind of, um, you know, like a collar or um, an accent piece on a piece of clothing, like on a, on a tunic or a dress, which is what I'm planning to, to stitch. And then the last thing I found is just this little... Um, these little gold leaves on a stem, I, I plan to, to clip them all off and keep them in a little box so that I have them handy for making um, ephemera with because I, I have, um, that's another project I have to, to complete is organizing a bunch of my both natural and my fake leaves. <laughs> okay, so that's it for thrift haul, but I want to share my book outlet haul with you as well. Okay, sorry. So bookoutlet.ca is a Canadian like book discounter. Like they buy end of lines and things like that. So it's like a good place to get like books for a lot cheaper than you would on, you know, at a bookstore um, or online. So I mainly use it for books for homeschooling my daughter, but every now and then, um, they have a sale like the one they just had <laughs> and, or I find something that like absolutely, you know, makes me like have to buy it. Um, because I am a book hoarder sort of <laughs> a little bit. Um, but aren't we all? So these books are the books that I got in, in my box. So this is Conscious Creativity, the workbook. Experiment, Explore, Create by Philippa Stanton. So <clears throat> it's a really nice book about, you know, making and, you know, the process of making. And these kind of books just really, really inspire me. And they kind of go along with my whole, I have this stack of books where I have this idea to do sort of like working through a book in, in a series of videos. Um, and I will get to it. I have a lot of things on the go. I actually still need to get back to my last series after Defemerember, or maybe if I can squeeze some videos in the using up a big book series, I need to finish that, um, which I will, <laughs> but I have a lot going on. Um, and then I was so happy to find Tamara Laporte's Ever After as well. A few of her books actually, I th or not her books, um, just a few of these style, these style of books, mostly Jane Davenport, but I was so happy to find Tamara's book as well because I really love her. She's a lovely person and um, her, her style is just beautiful and it's really nice to kind of, I like these kind of books because it allows you to just you know, be influenced a little bit and step inside the style of one of your friends or one of your, you know, fellow artists that you admire. And the same is true with Jane Davenport, Whimsical Girls. So I think I want to give myself some time to just kind of soak these books in and uh, do some experimenting with how it can influence my own style. And then this book, honestly, I was so dumbfounded that this book was available at Book Outlet because, like, it's a collector's edition, beautiful, unbelievable book. Um, it's Whipped Cream, The Art of Mark Ryden. And as you can see, beautiful. Mark Ryden is one of my favorite modern artists. Like, pop surrealism is, like, a really inspiring 
um, movement in art to me. I'm a huge fan of like, you know, obviously you saw Mab Graves earlier this week. I made a Christmas ornament, um, you know, for, as part of her fan club. I really love this kind of style and this kind of art. Um, and so it's a beautiful big book. And it comes with the, this was on the back, so it's just, I just popped it in the book because why not? And I'll show you some, <clears throat> excuse me, some of the pages here. So I think he's talking a little about his inspirations for creating this here. Let me get to some pictures. So, you know, this is how we develop our style, right? Our beautiful images like this. Um, inspiring our, our brains and kind of bringing out, like, what's, what's possible. So, really cool. I love his home. I love, like, looking in people's homes who are collectors like myself and they aren't afraid of owning things and having you know, an interesting, like, artistic home. My home actually looks a little bit like this in parts. So I have, like, floor-to-ceiling shelving that goes, like, up our, our foyer sort of round staircase and um, all the way up the wall if you were to look at it from like a drone view if you were looking down it would probably feel a little like you're falling through like the Alice in Wonderland um, you know rabbit hole that's kind of what inspired me to do it and it's totally filled with like antiques and art and books and so this just like really inspires me. I also think, um, I had this thought the other day, I'm going to be working on a series soon that was inspired by my, one of my latest 52 tags, handmade tags. Um, I made like a tag that I would grab it, but it's a little far away right now that, that you can see it on my Instagram. If you go to my Instagram, I'm Studio Lou on Instagram. And I made um, a journal tag that is inspired by all the influential women that I've grown up with that have kind of raised me up. And it has kind of little bits, little swaths of fabric, little bits of yarn, buttons, different things that, that remind me of those women. And so it got me thinking about making like a a stitcher's haberdashery kind of series or, or or tutorial video to kind of create a certain type um of ephemera a few different kinds of elements that you could add into like a stitching journal or a fiber or textile arts journal so this is another thing um that I'm thinking of doing, like using bits of fabric or paint samples or things like that. So stay tuned for those ideas because they are coming soon. I have, I have this written right here on my, my post-it notes, so it will happen. <laughs> so more of just this beautiful, um, so this ended up being a stage show. Um, and this is the costuming, it's just incredible. All of the props. Yeah. Amazing, amazing. I'll just kind of do a flip through of some of his iconic work. Just beautiful work. Oh, I have to move the book over so you can see this horse. Look at this horse. So cute. I always love those horses that have like the really long curly hair. It's like those are hair goals right there. <laughs> That's so cute. So yeah, um, then some of his drawings, more of the stage show. But yeah, isn't this book just magic? I had to share with you because it's just so magic. So this is Mark Ryden, The Art of Whipped Cream. You can probably, Book Outlet doesn't seem to have any more of them, unfortunately, but you can probably find this book in your local bookstore. Um, if you live in the Maryland area, I recommend Atomic Books or Atomic Pop. No, it's Atomic Books again. Um, in Hamden, it's a really amazing. It's one of my favorite bookstores. They carry a lot of this kind of um, material. They usually have a lot of Mark Ryden. I've purchased books there before. Um, or, you know, you can usually find them online as well um, at bookshop.org or like maybe even Thrift Books or Abe Books, one of those places that carry books that end up being out of print. Um, so check it out if you can, because it's a beautiful book and check out his work in general. It's amazing. So 
I think that's everything that I have to talk about um, in this thrift haul video, but I will be back soon and I hope you're all doing well. Um, if you haven't yet subscribed, please do. Please subscribe down below um, or click the, the subscribe button or just look in the description box below if you're looking for more information about me and Studio Lou and what I do. Um, otherwise, I hope you have a really great rest of your weekend. Bye for now. Bye.